Okay, final uh, video for this whole um, uh, 2024 Japan trip. And uh, as you can see, I've got my hair shaved off. Uh, that's because there's a documentary being made about me and the documentary makers wanted to take some publicity photographs. So, well, for the first time in this um, particular series, you can see my illness. Um, as you can see, I, ha I certainly have had multiple brain operations and you're just gonna have to take my word for it it was because I've got a brain tumor and not because I was just having a joke so <laughs> that's that's the way it is um anyway let's get on to the video and my final r review of Japan of um all Nippon Airways is um service and uh unfortunately their management okay so I'm in Kumamoto Airport. It's nice and small and I like it because it's not busy so I'm not stressing out. My flight has been delayed by 10 minutes, no, 15 minutes even. And uh, well, okay, I can show you the departure lounge. See? These are all the shops available. Honestly, there's not a lot here, so really you're not gonna you're not gonna get much. You're gonna get local snacks and the local local presents, usually focused on kumamon. But yeah, oh, time to go to Tokyo. Get the first cabin, sleep the night, and then uh, get the trip back. I'm in <coughs> the departure lounge of uh, Ornipon Airways' uh, Terminal 2 and there really isn't much here. Uh, it's only recently been built, so well, let me show you around. Got a convenience store here, it sells some, um, well, stuff you can imagine. Uh, Typical tourist gifts, which I don't mind, and uh, also got magazines and drinks and snacks. Right, going down to the other end, got a bank here with um, you don't want to change your money in an airport ever, the exchange rates are terrible. Next, we've got Starbucks, and we've got a uh, something called a uh, Shimats beer and sausage. I like the sound of that. Next along we got Chinese Gyoza restaurant. That's a really sound I really like the sound of. <coughs> That's my go to in a minute. Ginza noodles. And then we've got gate my right, gate 73 down there. Gate 72 here. I'm at gate 71. Ginsakia, those begins the noodles, I think. Information desk. Further along, it's a shop called Pier. 
which you can see sells some confectionery, food, beverage, and there's a cafe. This is a bit more up class. Most, well, all the products here in particular are from Hokkaido. Next one, you've got an ice cream shop. Oh, got uh, Nickelman. Um, meat buns, I'm gonna go there actually. Over here, you've got the flights. And then vending machine, which will definitely be really expensive. Uh, I'm not sure what these things are. Well, I think it's, yeah, it, that's a bank. So I assume it's some sort of. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to miss around. Uh, you've got a toilet there. Further down, you've got more. Vending machines. And for this um, for this particular lounge, that is it. See, there really isn't much here, but um, like uh, I said, it's a brand new terminal. So things, things are gonna start getting better from now on. While I'm waiting for, uh, for nine o'clock when the um, yeah, the uh, uh, attendant's gonna come back and uh, help me onto the plane. I got myself um, a Nikoma, which is a steam pork ball. And this is my secret weapon to getting to sleep on the plane. Gabapentin medication. I take one now um, to, uh, to help ease the pain in my legs. And then once I'm on the plane after three hours, I can have another one and that would literally knock me out so uh, it's not very good but these things well they do the job and uh, the side effect is to fall asleep and hopefully that'll be it for me um, for the entire uh, flight from uh, Haneda to Heathrow airports the flight was brilliant the ground staff were lovely and uh, got onto the flight, the food was excellent, the service was excellent, <laughs> again, I just can't fault them. Um, Unopen Airways, uh, on the plane and um, on the ground, customer facing, they are fantastic, really, really good, I love them. And then when I got to Heathrow Airport, there was somebody waiting for me, and um, they um, took me to, uh, to the uh, luggage carousel where I got my luggage um, with the help of the uh, Heathrow Airport staff and then they didn't need to do this um, but um, the lady from Ornipan Airways uh, helped me find my bus stop uh, to, for the rail air bus back to Reading and it was excellent this it's just so so helpful and I'm really really grateful to them but it's the management in the background. It's the administration staff in the background who screwed up on this particular holiday. Uh, however, I did get an email and uh, eventually after all my letters uh, of complaints and uh, it says, uh, uh, Dear Mr. Opley, thank you for sharing your concerns um, with our previous response, blah, blah, blah. I am the director of uh, Anna Customer Relations Department. Um, slightly different um, to Anna, Anna Customer Services Department, but I don't know. Um, firstly, um, yeah, please allow me to apologise. Blah blah blah. No, it's uh, it's uh, I'm not accepting apologies anymore. Um, oh, well, it pains us to know the negative experience um, you've had. Um, uh, 10 years ago, significant efforts have been made in the recent years since, um, specifically in preparation for the Paralympics held in Tokyo in 2020. To 
significant uh, efforts? I don't think so. Um, please be sure that some uh, current Ornipan Airways employees are well trained and to offer compassionate and appropriate service to customers with special needs. If that's the case, why is it then when I contacted the, uh, the disability desk for assistance on the outward journey from uh, at Heathrow uh, that they didn't believe me? I don't know. And, and he actually addresses, well, I don't know if it's a he or she, but the, 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 the director, uh, Suganal Sen, uh, they actually addressed this. Uh, secondly, in light of the, uh, the training and education mentioned above, we are extremely disappointed to see the email response you received from the Anna Disability Desk. Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. Frankly speaking, Indeed, you should have received appropriate support from the Anna Disability Desk when you first contacted them. Finally, we have an admission of guilt. Um, and they said that they're going to review the process, they're going to make sure uh, things don't happen again, they're going to uh, double their efforts and... No. It's been over 10 years since all of this um, started. And... Uh, yeah, over 10 years and the 2020 uh, Paralympics. So they changed a bit, but they haven't changed much. And it's, it's the people who don't face the customers who are screwing up. And it's the people who don't face the customers who are letting down the people who do face the customers, the uh, ground staff, the cabin crew, the amazing staff that I, I, I met um, so it is utterly frustrating, but filing, uh, filing charges, going through lawsuits or whatever, I can't do that. It's so stressful, it's so uh, energy consuming and uh, I've got a brain tumor for Christ's sake. I don't have the energy um, to, do, to do that. Instead, what I did, uh, I wrote to Japan Airlines and I told them all about what's happened um, to me. I told them, if you want to learn from all Nippon Airways' mistakes, then please do. You can offer a much better service to disabled people and more importantly, you can get our money. I had an email back from them. Um, it's from the uh, uh, customer service, uh, sorry, customer support office. And they said, uh, thank you very much for sh um, sharing your recent experience. Uh, we have found the information you provided um, us to be highly vi valuable and we are certain that it will be an asset um, to us. As soon as we received your comments, we forwarded your comments to the concerned department for their reference. According to the department in charge, they are willing to provide comprehensive support to customers who um, require assistance and their needs uh, after consulting with them in advance. Uh, therefore, we greatly appreciate greatly appreciated if you could, could consult uh, with the nearest uh, reservation office uh, before making a reservation. There's a bit of a problem with that um, because um, the, there isn't the nearest office. It's all the, as far as I know, all the offices up for Japan Airlines have uh, closed in England uh, so I was looking online which is a bit um, awkward couldn't find an email address uh, so <laughs> I, I sent uh, an email to um, well I sent a letter to the to the president of um, Japan Airlines just saying well again explaining everything that happened to me and uh, with uh, all Nippon Airways if you want to learn, then you can help on disabled people much better, get some money, get a custom, but also do you have somebody that I can email to, to, to help me um, book my ticket next time? I got a letter. It says, <laughs> uh, dear Mr. Hopley, uh, thank you very much for, 
for your letters addressed to Japan Airlines' uh, Representative Director, uh, President Totori, and Representative Di Director Chairperson uh, Akasaka, uh, please allow Japan Airlines Customer so Support Office to reply uh, to you on their behalf. First and foremost, we deeply appreciate any f um, deeply appreciate your thoughtful comments. Our new president, uh, that will be um, President Totori, uh, has spent most of her career uh, in the cabin attendant division. She was she started as a cabin attendant, which is uh, at the front line of safety and customer service under the, under the leadership of the new board member, all of us will work together to become the world's most preferred and valued airline group. Please be assured that Japan Airlines values the comments and suggestions from our customers and needless to say, you are no exception. We have taken every, every of your words very seriously and your experience and valuable inputs have certainly been shared with the relevant departments. It sounds a bit uh, premeditated, but I'll go along with it. It is without doubt that we will continue to improve our customer service ba um, based on our customers' words and suggestions. We appreciate you for letting us uh, hear your words. Furthermore, regarding, regarding the email contact for reservations and customers with hearing or speech disabilities is as follows. And then they give me an actual email address. Brilliant. That's all I wanted. And um, uh, I actually looked on their website, um, Japan Airlines website. And even though you, I went to the assistance um, webpage, it wasn't there. You have to go to a subset of the assistance webpage, um, the one for hearing and speech disabilities. And then you find the email address is not really good enough really to put the email address on the assistance web page it's nice and easy it's easier for people like me to find uh, last bit says once again thank you for, uh, very much for writing and sharing your thoughts with, with us we will c continue to make every effort to provide exceptional service for our valued customers we hope to have the opportunity to serve you in the future in your future travels uh, sincerely yours, Miyazawa Hiroko, Director of Customer Support Office. So, somebody is finally listened to me. Listen to me. Unfortunately, it's not, um, it's not uh, on open airways and uh, I don't, I don't, I'm, I can't slate them. <laughs> this, is the this is the frustrating thing. I can't really go at them because their ground staff, their cabin crew, absolutely brilliant. They're fantastic. They would be the best airline in the world, as far as I was concerned, if it wasn't for the administration and the management. Uh, until the executives get off their high horse and talk to me, nothing's going to change. Nothing's happened. Um, well, very little has happened over the past 10 years. And I, I've really lost my temp temper. So uh, I cannot, with good conscience, recommend All Nippon Airways after 10 years, um, uh, after 10 years of waiting for them to improve their service, uh, for disabled people. If you are able-bodied, you don't need assistance at all, they are brilliant. You will love them, they are fantastic and I cannot fault them. Maybe they could be a bit cheaper but you get what you pay for. If in any way you need assistance, I'll give you, a, I'll leave you with a massive caveat. Be careful because you may end up with all the problems that I've had and I don't want that for anybody. It's so stressful and when you're paying £1,150 it's just not worth the money. So it's up to you. 
if you can get past the administration, if you can get past <laughs> get past the executives, then you're fine, and you'll have a fantastic journey. All Nippon Airways is brilliant, but if you're in any way disabled, think twice. And with that, I'm going to give uh, All Nippon Airways six out of ten, which is a bit generous, but again. Their ground staff and their cabin crew are absolutely excellent and that's the only thing that's keeping them up, uh, frankly. If, I really wish that all the Veneros would have seen these videos, but um, I don't think they are. So, next year, hopefully I'm going to have enough money to fly on uh, Japan Airlines. In fact, I will have enough money to fly on Japan Airlines. Uh, it's just a question of saving up. 1,150 pounds and then I'll be doing a, a review about them. My next flight however is with Ryanair. I'm not going to bother doing a video about them because you know. <laughs> anyway, see you next time.